Hey, welcome to Wanderlusting Lawyer. I am continuing my exploration with StreamYard, and today we'll be trying out a screen share feature, which is pretty crazy after how many years have I been doing YouTube? Six years. I'm trying to finally branch out and get a little bit more advanced in my videos, although I like to think the simplicity is a little bit of the charm. I'm never going to be some crazy, like, good creator, I'm sure, but um, the more information I can bring you guys and in a more streamlined way, that's what I'm hoping to do. So I have not made a sock video apart from talking about the waterproof socks I love in a really long time. And I realized my sock routine is in a lot of ways still the same as it was when I did my first Camino de Santiago back in 2018 but it's also evolved some too. So I wanted to, um, yeah, just make this video sort of refreshing the information and going through what I like in a sock routine now. Um, so, and I still don't know, I guess I could have looked it up before this video, if it's pronounced in Jinji or in Jinjai, I-N-J-I-N-J-I. Um, that's a brand that I really love when it comes to liners because I still do a two sock routine. That has not changed. I feel like it very well could be the case that I would do great with one sock, but I'm like too nervous to experiment. I need to experiment on it on a long hike when I, you know, it's just a local hike when I don't have days or weeks or months of hiking ahead of me, but I still do the two sock routine. So I do a base layer, um, which has individual spaces for my toes. And then I do an outer layer, which, um, my base layer in general is not wool. And then the outer layer is wool just to try to keep the feet, uh, try to whip the moisture away and keep the feet cooler. So when I started off here, let me, this is when I'm going to, uh, first I'll show you and then I'll screen share. So when I started off, I was using in Jinji socks or liner socks that are, uh, tall. They go up to probably like not mid calf, like probably where your calf really starts to start. Um, and then I would use like a pretty thick, uh, this one is darn tough. It's still, it's still a nice brand. I'd use like a pretty thick hiking, uh, merino wool sock over that. And, um, for my first Camino, I, I mean, I think that worked out. Okay. Like I said, I like, I did get blisters a couple weeks in, I think that was a number of factors and you can check out my truth behind blisters on the Camino de, Santi de Santiago video. If you'd like to know more about that. Um, and then my second Camino, I had blisters off the bat. I think I just did way too long and, and sort of challenging of a first day on that Camino Aragonese. Um, so then when I was going to do the Camino Inglés, you know, I always like to revisit my gear and see if there's anything new I want to try or just a little bit different. And I was super excited because when I um, was doing my research, I saw that Engine J had a new product. So um, I. I'm going to now share my screen with you so you can see. There we go. So what I saw when I was looking was this women's liner and runner mini crew. Um, and what I loved about it, if it'll pull up, see if it'll cooperate with me here. There's got to be a challenge, right? When it's your first time. There we go. So pretty reasonable price because it is two socks. They look like they may be sewn together, but they're not. Um, it's actually like the liner here. You can see it here. It's the liner and then the outer sock. So two sock system. What I loved about it was this was the first time and I will show you. This was the first time that NGNJ had introduced a mini crew. So this was the liner crew I was using my first Camino. And I don't like socks coming up that high. So what I was doing was actually having to roll it down, um, which looked funky, kind of created extra pressure on the ankle. It just wasn't the best system. You see, they have a, a liner wool crew as well. Some people I know only walk in this sock. And if that's a system that works for you or you want to try it, that's great. Um, like I said, I just, I started with the two sock system. And if you look at the reviews, it doesn't look like they're anywhere near as strong for the liner crew wool. So if anyone's walked in those and can share maybe why that the, the people don't enjoy them as much, let us know. Um, but you can see here the liner mini crew. I was super excited because this was exactly kind of high enough on the ankle here. I have a pair here. It was high enough on the ankle to, um, there we go. 
to protect like my Achilles and, and my, the front of my foot from like the shoe tongue, uh, the shoe tongue and the heel. Um, here and I can compare the two. You can kind of see the difference, but I didn't have to roll it down. It was the size I really liked. I mean, that's the height that the, the outer layer of wool sock I wear is anyway. So I was excited about that, but this is a new development. Um, at least since I walked last June that they sell it on its own for 11 bucks. I mean, that is a great price. In my opinion, they're really high quality socks. I, uh, in all my pairs, I maybe have one that has a toe hole. So, you know, they're really high quality. They're long lasting. Um, I usually walk with three pairs of each. So three pairs of liners and three pairs of outer socks, uh, just in case something doesn't dry or I want to change midday. I just, for me, I cannot imagine, you know, a couple ounces of weight saved versus not having clean and dry socks. So that's just my routine plus the waterproof socks that I bring. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm pairing, I kind of, so this is the outer layer sock for the Injinji that I showed you in the, in the last picture, when you get the two pack, um, it's, it's actually an, a really nice quality sock. It's just, it's not wool. Um, so because that was the combination that I was going with, I actually just never ended up using this outer sock. So that's why I'm so excited about the liner mini crew being available on its own because the outer sock that I really like is, and this is a brand of sock that I use often for, um, for like liners and other socks, and I know people know them and love them well, is Smart Wool. Smart Wool has these great ankle um, merino wool socks that are kind of constructed a little bit more like a running sock with the foot band to support, you know, to provide support to the arch, but then and lighter on the top to allow for more breathability, but a reinforced and lightly padded heel, ball, and toe. So that is my ideal combination is this liner mini crew you see, but instead of the outer and ginger sock, something like a smart wool, um, kind of like running sock. So for my next Camino, I'm going to, that's all I'm going to do is have three pairs of this liner, uh, the mini crew liner and three pairs of something like this smart wool. Like I said, no blisters on my Camino Inglés. Um, and I, I, you know, walked five days straight, pretty decent clip, lots of inclines, and descents and was really happy with my sock and footwear combination. Make sure you check out my video about my Topo um, athletic shoes I used. I already have a new pair in my closet just waiting for another Camino because they moved on to a new version and I just wanted to stick with the version I used. Um, but absolute really favorite combination. And I will be posting some links below. So I actually became an Injinjai affiliate, which is exciting for the channel. Again, affiliate links don't cost you any money. It's just if you're going to buy the product anyway, it gives me a little bit of a kickback. So if you want to support the channel, that's a super easy way to do so. Um, I'll post the links below. Anytime you click on the Injinjai link, you know, like I said, it'll provide me a small kickback. Same with Amazon. If I find some Amazon links, I'll post those down there below. And of course, if it's cheaper at REI or wherever else, save yourself money. That's, you know, always you want to keep, especially on your budget, you want to make sure your Camino stays as budget friendly as possible. But um, just, you know, really excited about, and I'll bring the focus back to me, really excited about things coming in the future for the channel. I'm trying to bring as much value as I can. Um, I do spend a lot of time on this. And so it's really nice when just by clicking on a link, you can support the channel. I very much appreciate it. And I've been seeing a really big uptick in views lately. I have some new subscribers. So actually on that note, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. I'm just going to do like an introduction video pretty soon. Um, just kind of reintroduce myself to people who are new to the channel. But um, I hope that these changes are things that you enjoy seeing. And let me know how that screen share feature worked because that's something, especially if I can have like pictures and things like that, that I can share it more easily than how I would do it before, which took a lot of time um, and frustration. I will certainly do that. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Again, the links will be below. Let me know, drop a comment on your sock routine, especially if you're somebody that started with the two sock system, the liner outer sock and switched to a one sock system or something like a right sock that has a liner actually sewn into the sock, but doesn't go between the toes. Or if you've used that new brand, I think they're called creeper socks that um, are like Injinji and have the individual little toe um, pockets. Let me know how those are. 
Uh, thanks guys for watching and buen camino.